Welcome to Almost Tier 1, the deck list, profile, and analysis cast here on the Dice Commando YouTube channel. In each episode of Almost Tier 1, we present and dissect a fresh and off-meta deck list, going in-depth into the team comps, card choices, and play strategy. All decks discussed on Almost Tier 1 are standard format legal as of date of publishing. Almost Tier 1 is a component of the Dice Commando YouTube channel. Live play, profiles, analysis, and unboxing and product reviews. Find Dice Commando at www.youtube.com slash Dice Commando and connect via Facebook at Dice Command. Hello everyone, this is AT1, coverage of Star Wars Destiny Deck Admiral Mace Padme. Today's guest host is Steven of the Suburban Dice Commandos, and he'll be walking us through the deck today. Thanks for joining us, Steven. All right, Mace Padme, a really fun team. Um, good synergy here. The, uh, the plan here is obviously to get Admiral on one or both of these characters, uh, and actually it it definitely matters during the situation, depending on who you're facing, but both of them are just great uh, applicants for this, and it's just a really fun way to play this game. Let's take a look at the deck. Um, you got Salt Flats, they're both leaders. Um, drawing logistics early and being able to flip to a resource to make sure you're taking getting money is not a bad idea. It's not easy to keep the battlefield, but it is worth it for your Seize the Day plays. Um, and it's an extra soft mitigation if you need it. Uh, upgrades, Admirals, and Rebellion Leaders. And being able to put a Rebellion Leader on Mace with you're in command now never feels bad. Getting that early especially is fantastic for ramp. Um, four uh, redeploy weapons. And uh, you probably could get that down to three, but the way things go, Padme is picked off pretty easily since Mace could get bulked up with Jedi lightsabers. So being able to move something across the board is pretty important. Jedi Sabers, with Mace's power action, it's just really feels great to get three shields. So getting that on there is great. A Neiman Master, Neiman Training, lots of options with these two. Lots of different plays you can do. Um, being able to use Neiman Training special to turn to an Admiral special and resolve it and then get Neiman Mastery on uh, from the discard pile, perhaps, is just... Uh, that can work out it's really great so a lot of fun stuff there you can convince me to get another training in there i think that wouldn't be a bad idea big silver baton um obviously getting on both if they're um exhausted you can still roll it in so that's really fun to get and um let's look at the events you've got uh, hidden motive electromagnetic pulse pacify and upper hand for some control um that's free uh hidden motive is the best electromagnetic pulse is a Meta call, um, pacify doesn't feel great to give someone else shields, but giving yourself shields in a pinch and then being able to get back out isn't a bad idea. Upper hand's tough to pull off, but it's free and it works, so not bad to get in there. Beguile is expensive, uh, and maybe Jedi Mind Trick is better here, but if Mace gets picked off, then you need something for late game. Add Mace, so it's there. And obviously you've got uh, logistics for some money and seize the days for those uh, really, really good plays if you can keep the battlefield. Um, the play strategy <clears throat> is, it's really fluid. It's, uh, you got a lot of options here and someone watching you play may not know what you're trying to go for, but um, depending on what you draw and depending on what Mace can pull from uh, the pile with his power action, uh, there's a lot of different options here. Overriding is the most important thing to know what into when to override is um, important. Lots of th things you can do with that, but being able to reserve, or, uh, or I should say, preserve your resources and your investments is really important. That's yeah, true for all Destiny decks, but um, especially... Um, great options for Mace's power action. Again, like I said, Quicksilver Baton, 
um, Neiman trainings, all that is great. Um, let's see, strengths. You got lots of damage sides here. You've got uh, gives Mace an extra damage side, um, and it's just uh, it works out really well for them. They're both dangerous, and it allows for some good options, like I've said before. They are low health. Uh, that is, they, they do start off low, and if you can get shields on, all the better. It's slow. You're not going to easily keep the battlefield, but it's worth it if you can. Very resource dependent. So this is not, um, this is not like the very well put together Mace Satine deck, um, which has amazing synergy, but it does have its own little dance to it, and it's really fun. Play around with it, see what you can do. Um, it can be absolutely monstrous if it goes off early. So have a great time with that. Go Commando. Do you have unique or spicy deck tech you'd like to share with the community? Dice Commando is happy to offer guest spots here on AT1 to present your personal brainchild. If interested, please reach out to Dice Commando through our Facebook page for details. Thank you for watching Almost Tier 1 on the Dice Commando channel. If this was something you enjoyed, please give us the feedback, like and subscribe, check out the rest the Dice Commando channel has to offer. If nothing else, go Commando.